Today, we have President Poroshenko and Prime Minister Yatsenyuk, politicians in their own right, they have their own parties, but their parties both did well in these elections, and they agreed to work together in a coalition. The question about will they be able to form a coherent government is a good one, but I think the answer is yes, for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is that they learned, they were around during the previous time. They were around during the Yushchenko, Timoshenko battles, and they learned from that. And second reason is they both agree, President Poroshenko and Prime Minister Yatsenyuk agree on the policy direction uh, that they want to take Ukraine, and that is toward Europe. So I am guardedly optimistic that this time they will be able to work together. The first thing the international community can do is to encourage, probably behind the scenes, the cooperation between the president and the prime minister. The international community has been doing that. And I had conversations in Kyiv last week which suggests that, that that discussion is taking place. The second thing is also important, and that is to provide support to this new government. The economics uh, of today's Ukraine are terrible. Um, in order for the international community to provide that financial support, the Ukrainians have to reform. There is another part of the assistance that the international community should provide, and that is security assistance. The Ukrainians don't want any soldiers, but they do want the ability, the Ukrainians do want the ability to defend themselves. Um, and my own view is we should help them help themselves defend themselves. There are some indications in the last couple of days that there is some reconsideration going on in Moscow. That it's, it's possible that they are thinking about another course. One course is to keep on doing what they've been doing for the past uh, nearly a year. The alternative is to rethink that and to begin to lower the temperature, withdraw the troops, allow the Ukrainians to control their own border. Um, we can hope that they will choose the latter.